It's the first ball of the Ashes series and England fast bowler Steve Harmison is about to send a warning to the Aussies that the English mean business. Whoa, wide delivery taken and slipped by the skipper. The nerves are showing already. They might need four slips to catch this. Oh, usually the ball going to second slip is a good thing. I remember Graham McKenzie saying to me once when he bowled a delivery like that, we're nerves as well as a batsman. That one's curled around his legs like a hungry house cat at tea time. It's actually hit off stump. When bowling in cricket, the number one rule is to remember to bowl the ball. He's stuttering all over the place. Halfway up his run up, he's putting in three or four little ones. Oh, there he goes again. He's in all sorts of trouble. This is really a worry for England. But the fastest bowler losing his concentration and his confidence the second morning of the Test match. Harmison's having more false starts here than a second-hand lawnmower. And there's a good example of him looking at the bowling crease and thinking, oh, no, I've got it wrong. Oh, it's down there. He's, uh, he's just got to stop doing this. He's got to look down the pitch at the spot where he wants the ball to land. Spectacle wearing Murray Bennett could barely see the stumps, oh, him, let alone know if he'd hit them. Beautifully bowled. And isn't Murray Bennett excited? Judging by the way the crowd reacted, Beautiful. Bennett figured Vivid either hit a six or he'd taken his wicket. One of the best balls you will ever see bowled. Luckily, it was his wicket, or he would have looked like a right idiot. A great breakthrough for Australia. Brian Lara has been bowled a maiden over before, but he hasn't been bowled over by a maiden. Oh, and there's a big appeal there, so I think that she's got him. Zoe's got him. This is Kirtley Ambrose serving up a 17 ball over. That's almost as many deliveries as Santa Claus on Christmas Eve. Oh, he's had a go at that one, no ball called, and so there's no point in trying to catch that one. No, no. And again. Right, he's round the wicket to him now. This will be a nasty angle for Warren. No. Right behind it again, well played. Oh. Well, that's got to be a no ball. Yeah, way outside the return crease. The back foot there was uh, not just touching it, it was way out of it. That's better. Whoops, and again. Born to no idea where that one's gone. He's had a go at that one and he's racked it high and uh, way over the top of cover point. Bouncing down towards the fence. Will it get there? Probably just. In fact, it's just short of the rope, so that's the answer so far. Legitimate, illegitimate balls all over the place. It's going to be a long over for him. Oops, and he's in him again. And another no ball. Four to go. He's had a go at that one, and uh, that's another legitimate delivery. And he'll end up getting three here. for it that time but it was a bit wide and another no ball and what's more he's had a go at it, the wicketkeeper and uh, <laughs> it popped out of his hands they're obviously all getting pretty tired out there at the moment no ball called again this is getting a bit farcical Uh, Warren backing away and saying sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, he went for the leg stump. Well, hopefully one ball to come. Oh, oh ball called again. He's hit that one through the offside field. It's running away down towards the fence at extra cover. It'll go all the way for four. And what's more, it's another no ball.
and that one's through to the keeper. Well, yeah. that's the end of a marathon. 13 minutes it took him, it's 8 for 167. That over did not do Kirtley justice, so let's watch a spell that would put Bewitched to shame. Big appeal there. Yes, he's got the little inside edge. War doesn't look too happy about it. Just a little glance down the wicket. Shouts of catch it, and Richie Richardson, the captain, has done that. And once again, Kirtley Ambrose does the job for his skipper. And a shout, he's got him first ball. So Ambrose is now on a hat-trick. Edged and straight to Brian Lara. So that's three on the trot now for Ian Healy as Australia lose their sixth wicket. That's hits in the air, could be out after he's running with the ball. He should catch this. He does. Ambrose gets five. Big Murph got him down the ground. That was a fine catch. Great fast bowler has Australia on the rocks here at the Wacker. He's got another one, he's got six for one. What a magnificent spell. The half ball he's there for a straight to second slip. This is one of the best efforts ever at the Wacker. That's seven for one. He's got another one. What a spell. Magnificent bowling. Australia nine for 104. Angel out for a duck.